Neogia, Wikipedia article audio. Neogia is a term in Chinese martial arts, grouping those styles that practice Neojing, usually translated as internal martial arts, occupied with spiritual, mental, or qi related aspects, as opposed to an external approach focused on physiological aspects. The distinction dates to the 17th century but its modern application is due to publications by Sun Lutang, dating to the period of 1915-1928. Neijing is developed by using neigong, or internal exercises, as opposed to external exercises. History Qing China Republic of China Sun Lutang Training Characteristics Current Practice Fiction Bibliography Wudankan is a more specific grouping of internal martial arts named for their association with the Taoist monasteries of the Wudang Mountains, Hebei in Chinese popular legend. These styles were enumerated by Sun Lutang as Taijiquan, Xingyiquan, and Baguazang, but most also include Bajiquan and the legendary Wudang sword. Some other Chinese arts, not in the Wudangkan group, such as Qigong, Liuhbei Fa, Bok Mei Pai, Zi Ran Men, Bok Fu Pai, and Yuquan are frequently classified as internal. The term Neogia and the distinction between internal and external martial arts first appears in Huang Zongzi's 1669 epitaph for Wang Zhennan. Stanley Henning proposes that the epitaph's identification of the internal martial arts with the Taoism indigenous to China and of the external martial arts with the foreign Buddhism of Shaolin and the Manchu Qing dynasty to which Huang Zongzi was opposed was an act of political defiance rather than one of technical classification. In 1676 Huang Zongzi's son, Huang Beijia, who learned martial arts from Wang Zhennan, compiled the earliest extant manual of internal martial arts, the Naji Kunf. Beginning in 1914, Sun Lutang together with Yang Shaohou, Yang Chinfu and Wu Jian Chu and Ta Tai Chi to the public at the Beijing Physical Education Research Institute. Sun taught there until 1928 a seminal period in the development of modern Yang, Wu, and Sun style Tai Chi Chuan. Sun Lutang from 1915 also published martial arts texts. In 1928, Kuomintang generals Li Jinglin, Zhang Zi Zhang, and Feng Zia Ziyang organized a national martial arts tournament in China. They did so to screen the best martial artists in order to begin building the Central Martial Arts Academy. The generals separated the participants of the tournament into Shaolin and Wudang. Wudang participants were recognized as having internal skills. These participants were generally practitioners of Tai Chi Chuan, Xing Yiquan, and Baguazang. All other participants competed under the classification of Shaolin. One of the winners in the internal category was the Baguazang master Fu Chen Sung. Sun Lutang identified the following as the criteria that distinguish an internal martial art. Sun Lutang's eponymous style of Tai Chi Chu infuses principles from all three arts he named as Neogia. Similarities applying classical principles between Taiji, Zingai, and Bakuzang include, loosening the soft tissue, opening shoulder and hip gates or Gua, cultivating Qi or intrinsic energy, issuing various Jin or compounded energies. Taijiquan is characterized by an ever-present Peng Jin or expanding energy. Xingyiquan is characterized by its solely forward-moving pressing Jijin energy. 
Baguazhang is characterized by its dragon body circular movements. Some Chinese martial arts other than the one Sun named also teach what are termed internal practices, despite being generally classified as external. Some non-Chinese martial arts also claim to be internal, for example Aikido and Kitoryu. Many martial artists, especially outside of China, disregard the distinction entirely. Some Neogia schools refer to their arts as soft-style martial arts. Internal styles focus on awareness of the spirit, mind, qi, and the use of relaxed leverage rather than muscular tension. Pushing hands is a training method commonly used in Neogia arts to develop sensitivity and softness. Much time may nevertheless be spent on basic physical training, such as stance training, stretching and strengthening of muscles, as well as on empty hand and weapon forms which can be quite demanding. Some forms and internal styles are performed slowly, although some include sudden outbursts of explosive movements, such as those the Chen style of Taijiquan is famous for teaching earlier than some other styles. The reason for the generally slow pace is to improve coordination and balance by increasing the workload, and to require the student to pay minute attention to their whole body and its weight as they perform a technique. At an advanced level, and in actual fighting, internal styles are performed quickly, but the goal is to learn to involve the entire body in every motion, to stay relaxed, with deep, controlled breathing and to coordinate the motions of the body and the breathing accurately according to the dictates of the forms while maintaining perfect balance. The reason for the label internal, according to most schools, is that there is a focus on the internal aspects earlier in the training, once these internal relationships are apprehended they are then applied to the external applications of the styles in question. External styles are characterized by fast and explosive movements and a focus on physical strength and agility. External styles include both the traditional styles focusing on application and fighting, as well as the modern styles adapted for competition and exercise. Examples of external styles are Shaolin Chuan with its direct explosive attacks and many wushu forms that have spectacular aerial techniques. External styles begin with a training focus on muscular power, speed, and application, and generally integrate their Qigong aspects in advanced training, after their desired hard physical level has been reached. Some say that there is no differentiation between the so-called internal and external systems of the Chinese martial arts, while other well-known teachers have expressed differing opinions. For example, the Taijiquan teacher Wu Jian Chuan. Those who practice Shaolin Chuan leap about with strength and force, people not proficient at this kind of training soon lose their breath and are exhausted. Taijiquan is unlike this. Strive for quiescence of body, mind, and intention. Many internal schools teach forms that are practiced for health benefits only. Thus, Taichuan in spite of its roots in martial arts has become similar in scope to Qigong, the purely meditative practice based on notions of circulation of qi. With purely a health emphasis, TAI Qi classes have become popular in hospitals, clinics, community and senior centers in the last 20 years or so, as baby boomers age and the arts reputation as a low-stress training for seniors became better known. Traditionalists feel that a school not teaching martial aspects somewhere in their syllabus cannot be said to be actually teaching the art itself that they have accredited themselves prematurely. Traditional teachers also believe that understanding the core theoretical principles of Neogia and the ability to apply them are a necessary gateway to health benefits.
Internal styles have been associated in legend and in much popular fiction with the Taoist monasteries of the Wudang Mountains in central China. Niajia are a common theme in Chinese Wuxia novels and films, and are usually represented as originating in Wudang or similar mythologies. Often, genuine internal practices are highly exaggerated to the point of making them seem miraculous as in the novels of Jinyang and Gulong. Internal concepts have also been a source of comedy, such as in the films Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle. In the Naruto series, Niji Haiga's name and techniques were based on Niajia.